and the band's coming in. Oh my god, they're super fast. Aatrox is the first band, of course. Posix is the second. The war again gonna be targeting the Chocobo. After that, Aatrox team, why would you not ban out? <laughs> Yeah, and then the Kha'Zix is huge pool. I, I would imagine War sticks with the same bands here. Okay, they're gonna ban the Vi away from Guy Fieri, and then, oh my god, this is so fast. Sejuani, Jarvan 4, and the Malzahar is the last band for War. And with that, Misfortune gets left up, but TST are gonna be the ones to first pick away from War. I'm not sure uh, how much digital plays Misfortune, but As he I, it's a sh I can check I real like quick. He has, but I don't think he played a lot of it. But oh no, War picked up the horn. Oh god. So it looks like Digital Love has played one game of Misfortune this season. Uh, I'm not sure. That? that was week um, seven. Played Tristana Misfortune. That might have been a week they tied, I'm not sure. But week 7... Eric is going to be the second pick coming in for War. No surprise whatsoever. Worked well last game. Didn't really do a whole lot. It didn't need to. Like, it... it, it Zorpox did his job, and Eric is still his comfort pick. So, this... The pick's fine, and... Following comfort picks, like, the horn for... Caleb, like, that's one of his big comfort picks after the Aatrox. The response for TST will be Gnar for Debrosius. Which, um, what's time to call in Sean, because Sean apparently probably knows this matchup way better than either of us do. Nami again gonna get picked up for the TST. Misfortune Nami. No, TST will have some lane pressure now. Like, Misfortune definitely has pressure we'll see what war respond with they might if they don't pick up the ezreal here i anticipate tst to end up banning it if they don't then well that's on them and okay there we go <laughs> they're not gonna get a chance to ban it or we'll pick up the ezreal so matched rolls on each side jungle mid are the last picks for both teams so <coughs> expect to see more bans thrown at Clumsy Chocobo from War and more bans, or not more bans, bans in general thrown at Vile So Sosu Cat. Probably the Cho'Gath Corky, maybe Maokai. Cho'Gath Maokai is probably, probably what I think comes in War. Maybe the Elise. I'd be surprised if we didn't see something like a Lux. I don't know, the, I know the Lux wasn't a big deal, but like maybe focusing more on a Wilbrokes champion might be. Oh! Okay, so that normally, if a team misses a banned pro draft, it's because they had one and didn't lock it in at the last second. Or just missed it completely. Oh, that was funny shit. Okay. Well, we've got Miss Ban from War, TST banning out the Maokai, as expected, and War gonna target over Will Brooks again, taking out his brand as well. Alright, so. War did miss a ban. War missed it. They said, yeah, it's missed. Okay. Interesting. Cho'Gath. Okay, it's being covered currently. I expect this ban to come through, though. And it's the Cho'Gath. Hey, I, I called it. Hey, oh. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm really this surprised. Really oh, Kane gonna be coming in. Oh, wait. I We don't, haven't seen Guy Fieri play Kane before. I think we have actually. Have we? Um, I, I believe he played it. He might have played it against my team. I will check real quick though. Don't know. That might have been like a Vi. Who knows? That coming in for Clumsy Choke, bro. That's gonna be he played. Well, actually, no. He hasn't played it in in uh, LCS. I, I think I'm mistaken that I thought he played it in maybe a tournament or something. Maybe a bro five five or something. But. It's the carry jungler. We don't often see Eric on carry junglers. He's usually usually playing a tank for his team, playing like Maokai, playing the Sejuani, Grant was a band, but something like that. And they put him on Vi before. Kane is just a whole new, new level of like early game pressure. And and 
being a carry jungler. And the middling matchup will be a Vigar Morgana. Vigar the blind pick for TST, and then the Morgana is honestly the expected response for war. Morgana does very well in that Vigar matchup with the Black Shield to get out of the event horizon, and it's also a comfort pick for Pile to, to get. Yeah, you know, uh, the Vi, or not the Vi, the uh, Organa was actually a pain in the ass um, to deal with, especially when you're playing a mage or like any type of just like mage or AP champion in the mid lane. Like it just shoves you in so hard. And you can't do anything about it. So, as much as you probably won't die or lose to it, you could still theoretically. Uh, you know, get shoved in and your pressure is limited. Yeah, and if that Morgana lane build gets some AP in the board build, land right. blinding, that's a huge chunk of damage. That gets... If I want your opinion, I'll beat it out of you. Anyone who gets caught by that binding, the side of TST, their comp is kind of tanky. Like, they have, I mean, they have Zac, they have a Nar, they do have a solid tank line, but if a bind lands onto Vigar, Misfortune, or Nami, that is half it gone instantly from that. Who dares defy my no. will? I won't be denied. Alright. Do you, you mind forcing and like you can get such that we're alive? I'm sure y'all go for it. Um... So yeah, Caleb is your Caleb is the MVP for game one. Okay, so actually, uh, Menbong's gonna take over for me because oh, okay. um, everything's being really laggy. So, okay. but I will, I will be around. The and being laggy. Yeah, everything's going out of whack right now. Is it for for you or is it in general? Someone in chat tell me if the stream is laggy. I think it's just me. Okay. My computer is being slow right now. I might restart it. Okay. Yeah. But uh, good luck to y'all. Get in here. Go ahead. I'm not objecting. Yeah, he's already, he's already here, he's just waiting for spectate mode. He's oh, currently okay. muted, though. Hi, fam. Going to... Is he, why is he muted? Oh, oh he's I deaf. Think... I don't know if he's going to. I'm messaging him. I am too. <laughs> we'll figure this out. We're gonna get him over faster in here. It's okay.
this yet. Well, you know what? While we're getting Menbung in here, Sivan, prediction, wins this. Go. Oh, goodness. Um, I don't even want to talk about team comps because I just think War has proven time and time again that they're just, like, the better team. And, yeah, War wins. Uh, and the MVP is probably going to go to uh, Caleb again. <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah. So, hi, Sean. Mm. Hi, guys. Hi, stream. Welcome, Menbo. I think War wins and MVP goes to Ally or Fudgy. But overall, team comp wise, I actually think the better team comp is on the side of uh, TST. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to agree with you there. Like, they have good engage, they have good deal. Their, their team fight is really strong. Wars yeah. doesn't have a ton of like synergy. Yeah, they have some good potential with like more glands of binding chain to go in. They kind of just have a lot of everything. Their team comp doesn't excel at one thing in particular, but it's war. I'm just really interested to see what Eric does on this game. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you're you're excited for this, are you? We we have not seen Eric play Kane, so. This... Either, either the two of us are gonna be like, "Ooh, I'm pretty good," or Menbung's just gonna cry himself to sleep tonight. <laughs> Most likely gonna do that anyway. But... And still here, okay. Are you just, Steven, are you just gonna hang out in here. <laughs> Uh, for a few more minutes. Okay. You do, you I'm so stupid. I. I'm not even gonna tell you. Tell us. Inform the world. So I went to go spectate someone, so I could jump into the game, right? I spectated the wrong person. Did you spectate? I'm curious. She she okay. probably spectated you, sweet daddy, or mommy oh. rather. No, allergic to milk for some reason. <laughs> Hold up, what? <laughs> and what? then I heard I heard a clet ult come out of nowhere, and I was like, "What?" And and then I realized. Yeah. What? Okay. Then. He doesn't start Raptors, and it tilts me. He says he doesn't like Raptor start about Guy Fieri. Are you serious? <laughs> oh God! It's the Operation Tilt Menbung has started already. If he doesn't start, oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull him out of the game and just tell and like coach him and be like, no, no. <laughs> you take Talisman and you start Raptors. I literally did this to. Did you start Talisman? What? Yeah, you start Hunter's Talisman. Oh, Hunter's Talisman. I was like, wait. Oh, I was thinking like Ancient Coin and Talisman of Ascension. I was like, hold on, what? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you just instantly get Talisman of Ascension and you just press it immediately. And you get to their camps before they can. It's really good. Okay, so uh, throw up the hashtag uh, war win or hashtag tilted men bung. Hashtag Eric loses yeah. that too. I mean, I'll just say this if he does. Also, he has Flash on D, so... Okay, uh, yeah, he has Flash on D, the correct one. Actually, wrong. It's weird, though, I just noticed this, that all of them have Flash on D except for Zorpox. And he's the bottom player on that team, if you go down by roll. Coincidence? I think not. Actually, coincidence, because if Eric doesn't start Hunter's Talisman and go for Raptors, he's boosted. <laughs> And also, just keystones for a second. Wilbrooks took unsealed spellbook, so yeah, that's kind of yeah. fine, I guess. I unsealed. A lot of pros have been taking unsealed spellbook in LCS. Well, they're a whole lot better than we are, and they're able to I mean, use yes. it better. Oh, okay, so we took Hunter's talisman. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna see. Con no, consumable is the correct potion, I hate right? Those guys. Always, yeah. Okay. Uh, now, where is he gonna, if he goes Raptors, I'm going about topside. to be... Oh, boy. Don't He's think, gonna start I still think he'll do it. Okay, quick bet. 
I think he does. I think he doesn't go Raptors. I'm gonna say Raptors because I'm gonna be upset with myself that the person that I coached in the jungle doesn't do it. Mystery skin. I already have a mystery skin bet on this game. Okay. Um. Uh. But okay, I'll do it. I'll do okay. it. Would, okay. 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 John. Um. Yeah, he will start red guarantee most likely. Okay. M miss. Uh. Wait. Don't Oh, okay. We're, we're gonna stay on him. Wait, is he starting? Oh my god, he's is he goes. He's in Raptor Pit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh. Yeah. Oh god, I'm gonna omen bug a mystery skin. Oh. Oh my god. Watch him start walking up to Red Buff. Hey, Caleb, stay there. Stay there, Caleb. We got. Oh, he's starting Raptors. Oh my god. Yes. Wait, is Ali gonna start pool and give him a, a leash? <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, well, I owe Ali's gonna take some of the. Oh no, okay, so she didn't. I owe Menbug a mystery skin. Oh, yeah! Okay. Oh, but she took some of the raptors and he didn't get level 2 off the camp. <laughs> That's why you don't need a leash. Oh, lord. Okay, yeah, well, I owe, I owe Menbug a mystery skin, but he's still tilted. I guess that's a win-win. He's gonna have to smite this camp now. Oh. Alright, now get this camera off of him. Jesus Christ. Okay, no, I took it off. <laughs> no, for me. So, overall... It's weird because, like, you have Ezreal who will... Have Club to Man C, but Allie's gonna be like the focal point of this. Juice Me Daddy's very aggressive in this lane against Debrosius, but I just don't think Debrosius will play this lane out correctly. As he should, he should be the one to abuse the uh, horn. Double Relic Shield start on the side of War, but not on the side of. Uh... Well. I mean, so, Rob isn't supposed to start Relic Shield, but the Drill Love has also come from Relic Shield, which I've been seeing more and more, like, even these early single. game ADCs, like, they still go for the Relic Shield because it's that busted right now. Yeah, but, cool question. Have you seen any trading going down? Because if he doesn't have Fleet Footwork, then, or press the attack, or something that he can use overheal in, unless he has it in secondary. I... Oh, we'll see. He's got Hold comet. Off. He has comet. Yeah, he has comet. Okay. Well, maybe he has precision tree with overheal. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, you don't necessarily need the. Um, you don't need precision primary because you just need overheal board line. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Well, Brooks, uh, there's a gank happening mid, possibly. But it's by board. Has he taken the death total yet? I'm sure he has. Oh, right? he took it last game at 13 minutes. See, Van guessed it perfectly. Good job by Steve Van for guessing random things. <laughs> okay, so Eric finishes his jungle item complete, so he's back out on the map sooner and will clear faster if he's back. So the Menbunk tilt factor is now at 1.5. Started, actually no, it's at two. Start one from um, John's comment in Twitch chat. Three added on top for Raptors getting stolen, <laughs> and well, scaled back, I'm, scaled back I'm, one for itemization. Since both of those people will be in this game. Like in the uh, uh, post game interview, I gotta ask what the thought process was on that. Who decided to do that? I was yeah, like, being a guy fury in top lane for a game. And I chose on Rosius, Bubble, meanwhile, a bot lane does not hit, so. Game quite a bit slower than the last one. You got a scaling mid laner, uh, scaling bot lane on opposite sides. Wait, knockup comes in for the Brosius. Onto the Brosius, my bad. Has a binding of misses with lane, so little bits of action here and there, but overall just not too much.
Man, I'm so glad I don't have like epilepsy or something because they're actually going to like, kill me. Oh my, wait, oh, top lane, oh Jesus. Yeah, Christ. the burn this flash. Is, yeah. There's a flash down. Wait, Caleb? Oh wait, Caleb also had from this flash. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Pudgy, actually. So, Dazzle. Not in the stun, though. God, uh, this is a speech fast. Uh, it's TST, I want a ton of TST. I think they're actually trying to win. It's TST, this. I want a Clown Fiesta where they still try to win. Eric, they just win by Clown you, Fiesta. How did you miss that? I oh, oh, Pudgy Dither is being caught again by another bubble, and this time the Dazzle will land on Tarab, who will get poked down to half health. Yeah, I don't know if Fudgy has had his Arcane shift up for all these bubbles, but he's not one way or another. Yeah, I don't... I'll give good credit to Rob for abusing that as some damage comes down on the side of Digital Love to Fudgy. Why are their names so long? Well, this Norn going on to a Nar. I don't even... I don't even know if I want to even commentate, commentate these fights because I feel like I just know that he'll is going to win them. Oh, I mean, okay, let's look at this right now. He's gonna I stopped him. commentating them last game because the Aatrox was just destroying the horn. Yeah. But, Lucius is going to hop away, try to bait and just... Okay. Uh, Julio's officially boosted. You gotta be pulling out the Ram and you gotta just find the Brosius. There's an ult open. and the Nar into the wall, but they don't quite have the damage. He's just whacky. Clumsy Chocobo charges. Here comes the Valley. But the team wait, 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 wait. Got oh. cancelled by the Event Horizon. The lead comes in, and that's the first part for Clumsy Chocobo. Flashes out. Guy Fieri is able to find anything. That was, I feel like. Go and rewind that real quick, because I think Will Brooks cancelled. Battle oh, Toaster Cat's TP with the Event Horizon. Which, if he did, that was incredibly clutch. Nope, she cancelled it. Did he walk up? He walked up, and then she burned his flash and everything by ulting him and black shielding. But still, she should have completed the teleport. So, a, miss, a combination of a misplay from Allie and the, uh, quick thinking from Will Brooks, but still a pretty clutch decision. Let's go with that. I think Allie, if we ask her, she'll say, I was pretty sure he was going to stop my back, so I just stopped it. That's fair, yeah. But I still think going for the completion is better, because then you can reactively black shield or something. Yeah. Or just... Yes. Well, go further out of re his vision. Yeah. Well, as it is, first blood did go. Oh, there was a double damage. As it is, first blood did go over the pumpkin show, so. He's been dying a lot, but he's had more than his fair share of kills this game, so he has been kind of making up for it. Or this series, rather. What if, what if after dying so much, since he's already hit the record, he's about to set the record for like most kills in a single game? I, that would be 20. That's All right. The record, which we is got nice actually points. held. It's held by Caleb's eight rocks. The record. Boy, that'd be something else if it was made by Zach. Twenty kills Zach. Oh god, twenty-one kills Zach. Which okay, this I'm not sure if this is interesting to anyone else besides me, but so the like game and week records only start from the summer split because that's the first split. Like we start keeping track of the like the. Um, stats like per week and per game. The very first week of the summer split is when that record was started. So the very the, the record is as old as it could possibly. Be. So yeah. So what you're saying is that my grandchildren will know about this record? Yeah, pretty much. 
Oh, Dark Age of the Digi that time by Parky Dodge. The bubble and actually a flash forced out digital low. Uh, Why? With the threatening presence, but now Guy Pierre is going back in, flashes forward, forces out the flash from Rob, but he's just sitting in the bullet time, and that's gonna be a one kill for digital love. Flashes forward, gets the double on the fudgy dinners. This is just going horribly wrong for What am I watching? War everywhere. TST picking up three kills all over the map. Clumsy Chocobo with a nice gank at the top lane. What the hell just happened? Yo, no, I can't lose this. I've had a Sebastian, a mystery skin, that TST would not take a game off of war. And we got two people from RIP. They have a gold lead. I don't want to play war. Get that wallet ready, boy. Oh I didn't make this bet. What are you talking about? He's talking to me. Okay. Eric, what are you doing? Your bot lane obviously was not ready. Okay. No. Nope. So I know. I know they're well, not trolling. Are we gonna get? We're gonna get at least one kill. Well, he's coming in. Good uh, job, Eric. <laughs> He's there and he's helping. Viral Sefsi Cat picks up the solo kill, picks it up with the autos, and that is why you auto on even AP champion. Oh, wow. Wait, okay, Will yeah. Brooks used, is, he swapped out his flash for ignite, and now has swapped out his ignite for teleport. So he has... What? No flash. Yeah. Legit. Like, actually no flash. What? Okay, my quick question, I, the hardest thing for Eric this game is he's going to have to fight Clumsy Chocobo all the time. Oh. Because to get his Ross formation, which I believe is the one he's going to want to go for. But he's not even been a part of, like, many, um, you know, fights to even get any stacks of his, you know, whatever the hell. Transformation. Something. There you go. Words. Yeah, and I'm not buckling it up just yet, Oni Chan. All right. Oh uh, lord! Oh, Violet Souls got trapped in an event horizon. It's not opting to black shield herself out. Lurzy is coming in, landing the wall up onto. Just be that he actually knocks him back into range. The charge will not get the knock up, and the Lurzy is taking a nice chunk of damage, but. That's so strange how that's coded, because he like literally ran through him. It, it ignores unit collision, but okay! Uh, oh, the ram coming in, and though forcing the flash out of Brosius. Caleb does have has hit does have his words. Chooses not to use it, not overcommit into the tower. Probably smart from him, but we'll allow De Brosius to back. Get some and health back. back. And yeah, he's coded. Yeah, because if he doesn't, he yeah exactly. Okay, let's see. If he didn't, he loses a whole wave and a bunch of tower damage. Julio down here in the bot lane. As I think the play should be to try to do something around mid. Maybe like now that Orn's winning this matchup in the top lane, he should continue to do that and then roam towards mid and try to get mid open. They can get first tower there. Eric is only one camp up. Well, they okay. Thank you. Eric went over that pink ward twice and did not clear it. So I was like, oh can I clear the pink ward? So they're gonna get scuttle real quick. Operation Looks like they were trying to make a play top. As Eric's about to run into Meganar. Landing. Okay, we're gonna just jump all over the place. Back here in. Not the greatest fight with the Brosius. The Brosius does just go into Meganar now, though. And oh, what is? Eric? Eric? I got nothing. Oh, I tilted. What? What was that? I mean, yes, he had the new, like, the orange was kind of behind him, but the orange just didn't. Well, so here's the only thing is that he wanted to fight him as long as he could, but then he greeted for the ward when he should have just left. Um, that's the only thing I can say, but as of right now, that means that Julio has free reign to do whatever he wants right now, which seems to be just continuing to farm, so it doesn't really amount to much except for Eric racking up his death total. Maybe, look, okay, so maybe two Eric will break his death record. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say, maybe, maybe they've switched sides, like whoever's on the red side jungle has to feed. Maybe the Valeteria, oh, the bull time, they're gonna use it. 
chunk down Zorkar to just about half health along with Fudgy did the residual of Islo himself though, so that's not gonna result in a kill or anything. We're just gonna back, and actually this game, Vigil of is math 30 CS up on Fudgy, which is very good for him. Yeah, but why he's 30 CS? 700 gold up. Yeah, exactly. So 30 CS, here's... Fudgy needs to learn how to dodge bubbles. Hold up, did he... Uh, but, uh, he did not have his arcane shift up. Okay, well that still, he should still work on dodge. But, yeah, no, he can still dodge it. Yeah, exactly. I mean... He just doesn't have the easy dodge button turned on. <laughs> Buckle up, Oni Chan, I'm coming. Maybe? Okay. So we're gonna. Oh, I once think... this fighting comes down, we're going to some story time. Oh no, story time? No, this isn't a bad story. Oh, uh, oh it's well, not. we're gonna also go into some fighting. So he's got red buff, Caleb. Hope, hope the, oh, hope the oink, the ramp coming out, the shield as well, but the charge force oh, oh, oh. backwards, and the process almost picks up a solo kill. Oink walks a bit too far forward. This could be a kill. Oh, no, I don't know why the bros is just backed off. Yeah. He has red buff. Or he had red buff. Yeah. He ran out mid fight, actually. But. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my god. And he's back. But I don't think he knows the orange in the bush. I don't think orange should be in this bush. I mean, he's regaining oh, like... health. Yeah, okay, so Allie's getting a lot of pressure down mid but lane. Also, as Drew has, has taken an extremely long time to buy. Because bot lane tower is getting pressured, but Ali may take it on this next wave if there is no reply from the side of uh, Los Spanish Torpedos. The, uh, the, uh, Span the Spanish Torpedo himself. Yeah. Wait, that's not how it works. Wait, the Nami bullet knife combo coming out from Chocobo and Guy Fieri are here as well. I think Guy Fieri wants this. He's going to Chocobo is 2 and 0. Oh. But it only. Full time only really got damage down onto Zorpox. The binding comes actually on the digital love. That's exactly who they don't want. Will go down the vial. So it's a comfy choke. Will launch himself what? into the fight. Interesting. He does have his passive up. So he will go into mobs for right now. Will Brooks trapping two into the cage. Guy Fieri dodging the bubble with the Q and will barely take down Clumsy Chocobo. It's now a 4v2 in the favor of War. And they're just going to back out with those two kills. Yeah, um, Julio. What? You <laughs> ulted backwards to save people. You could have ulted into the tower and won that fight. Oh, and it couldn't have happened at a worse time, too. Now the dragon's up and they're gonna get an infernal drake on top of it. Everyone is boosted. I mean, welcome to PMA LCS, where the teams are made up and nothing really matters. The teams are Except made up and them. everyone is boosted. Yeah. I swear to god, if an insane steal came in, I would have just turned off the computer. Yeah, clum Clumsy Chocobo steals it from base. Oh, ooh, he uses the Mega Gnar while Mutant Daddy is unstoppable. Rand comes in, he's yeah, a mini Gnar now, he is so screwed. Well, Bubble Flash is coming in, Juice Me Daddy picking up easy solo kill. Yep, Juice Me Daddy being the juicer. I don't know. Uh, the oh, that juicer? <laughs> that double tap was really far. I don't know if that's allowed. Yeah, and... even okay, even as a misfortune player, sometimes a double tap lands, and I'm just like, what? Wow. Okay, Eric did since he got that kill onto Julio, and he was the one that got the kill. It helped him get his Ross form, so he's Ross now, and that's good. He's going Black Cleaver. He finally realizes that, you know, I can do something now. Like he. That the moment between oh fudge. Oh, he doesn't dodge the bubble, flashes out, forces the cosmic radiance as well, stun coming in onto digital love, but they're just gonna try it for a dive, that doesn't really work, and they're just gonna burn some summoners. He had E up that time. It, I okay. looked at it. <laughs> You're looking at it each time now just to make sure. Oh the okay. flash forward oh. lands the bind just barely. Violet says we can't here for oh, another soul gotta kill. Hurry now for this. Okay, first I was going to low speed. Oh team. my god, and they're just gonna go on Storbox the bubble landing. What time coming actually oh, no it's not good. They didn't get the damage on Storbox. But they should have the kill Kim that comes in. Yeah, the only thing I'll have to say that hasn't since the early game did not go the way of war. Uh, as we see another ram come in. Jeez. Yeah, and they 
going under the tower and... Yeah, there we go. That can kill me, dude. That As orange... Oh, wait, that... oh my god, that's, that's two towers, actually, for war. Yeah. Alrighty, then. I was gonna say, the only thing that, since the early game didn't go for them, they weren't able to use Rift Herald, which is, I know, something Ali likes to do. Uh, but now we even up the, uh... Oh, and Eric takes the blue buff. Rip. By auto-attacking it at the last second, unless they decided that that was okay. Um, why are we looking at Fudgy Recall? I don't Hello? know. Oh, that's an actual- I haven't seen that recall animation before, that's glorious. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Um... Why are we standing in front of right now? Yeah, oh, I pressed spacebar. I'm on Wilbrook's now. So now it's a... F almost a... Three... and a half K gold lead. Oh, oh, Rob's gonna get found. Oh my... He gets knocked up by a bubble. Why are people like this? I got nothing. I don't either. He juices me every night. Press, will press R, my mistress skin. No! <laughs> I don't know. The double stun, I mean, they could have done something if they have damage. <laughs> I love reading chat. <laughs> I, I'm. Oh my uh, god, okay, let's. Twitch chat is probably, like. Twitch chat could probably, like. Cure cancer, but also causes it. Single game death record is. Okay. Say, oh. Oh, oh, that's a big bullet. I'm shutting down Violet Sociocat. Just between that jumping in, but the control is kind of low. Primordial Burst will chunk him w. down, and they will Ooh. not take him down. The Cosmic Ray is coming in just in time. Bumps Choco jumping in as well, kidnapping them the wrong direction. Again? Again? Julio, why are you like this? He's going to go down for that. Oh, oh Guy Fury will not go down. The comet doesn't hit. Oh, my Golio is officially very boosted. He's, that's the second kidnap he's done the wrong way. I know, but like it's so weird because like he did it the right way, and it's not like he's always doing it like towards red base. So I, I ruled that portion out. Like it's not always towards red base. It just I don't know. I got nothing, man. Twitch chat can cure cancer. You heard it here first. Okay. How many uh, in uh, on this episode of Will ninety-five to ability spells? Time. Teleport to heal. He just needs to walk in there with ignite and exhaust and just go kill someone. Like, just sit in the bush, exhaust, ignite, press R, boom. He has 98 stacks right now, uh, 95 stacks right now, ladies and, and gentlemen. How much total AP does he have? Total AP for Will Brooks is 322. He's building a Luden's Echo right now. That's not correct. correct. Julio's looking for them five stars on Uber. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes, y'all ever just watch like NALCS or any like league? Or any, quite honestly, any Twitch chat, but especially league. And like find that one guy who's like not spamming what everyone else is spamming and then just think it's hilarious. Because I do that all the time. So another Drake coming up for them. It's going to be another Infernal Drake, which is going to be huge. Because Ali will actually start doing massive amounts of damage. May, uh, I, may I submit our Twitch chat is worse than Rito's Twitch chat? Because you can actually read all the shit as stays spent. No. No, Riot's and Twitch chat. Cringe. No. And also because we know the people spamming the bullshit. Eric is showing why my flaming against him is... Is Vlad or Valid? Sorry. Okay, Vlad. now he's gonna kidnap the right way? Oh, he does kidnap the right way, but it's also Zorpox and the bullet time also with, so. I'll say that Zorpox, that was his best ultimate of the game so far. He had, he's had some pretty good ones, too. Well, he's that actually, was the best. He's been pretty on point with his terror. Uh. Always, most. Yeah, oh, some usually, yeah. Fine. I'm just saying, Fine. this game, that was the best one, that's all. Okay. He's had some good terror yeah. ultimates this game, and that was the best one. Yeah. So many compliments. In the time. Oh god, a second. So nice smite, Eric. Oh, I know he doesn't god. need to. See, if I were to do that, I would contract cancer just by looking. 
Also, you can't really meme like and get recognized for it as here comes the alley 25 minute Baron as they're gonna go collapse on the Gnar in the top lane because Debrosius is the gone. Oh, oh, he oh, 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 he gets so dead. They're all going after this. Then eventually, there we go. Fudge brings it up. Eric is using his ult like he doesn't know how to play Rost. <laughs> he doesn't know how to play Rost. I'm just going to submit that. Well, no, like, he's fine. I understand, like, the whole thing, though, like, when, like, your teammates kill it while you're in there. But, like, and I know he probably just wanted to secure the kill, and that's fine. But having it up for this when you knew your team was coming behind you would have been a whole lot better as he... He's also missing, like, five knockups. So yeah, I don't think he's ever so hit a race the yet. Double knockup onto oh. Gary. That is huge. Wolfram's is going down. We got Gary. He's, the whole time, not doing that much damage. Lord Park gets trapped in it, but he's still basically full health. The flash coming in. Good knockup. Digital up. And that Gary will find like the knockup. Finally. Oh There's my god! Kill, he'll burn to catch up. Iceborne Gauntlet slowing down Rob. They're not actually going to do that. I'll tell you into a Baron instead of a kill. In Eric's game last night and in this game, the Ezreal's that I've seen play. Oh wait, wait, no, it's a bait. It's, wait, is it? It's gonna be a bait. Okay, they're gonna knock a drop. Actually, that's a squishy target. He's just gonna die instantly. Guy Fieri picking up in. I'm gonna say undeserved kill there. <laughs> chill out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this play. is my. This is where I think Ali gets a little bit too Ali. Right here, Eric has a level smite above, and they should just do it. Yeah, no more baits. There we go. Yeah, you just need just, your yeah, tank to actually tank. Yeah, it's like this one is tanky, and they're stalling their appeal off. They're gonna find the Brosius with the behind the PK health and tank. There's yet another program coming out again, and they're not gonna convert that one. See, like, I felt like oh, case, oh my god, just the knockup bad. The team doesn't need to back him up though. So they don't get there after all of that. I mean they still have complete vision of the area. The only problem is they've used some of their ultimates in their cooldown. So like instead of getting Baron at 25 minutes, they got what, four kills overall or three kills and nothing is four. It was four. Which yes, four kills is not bad, but like oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the alley damage is going to be really real as it comes out. Because that Q does a crap ton. Q is probably going to chunk Will or Digital up to half health. It'll probably take Rob to like a quarter. Although Rob does have some MR. And Ali only has flat pen right now. Looks like she needs to build it. Wait, wait. Digital Love upgraded fully the face of the mountain. We're, oh. I'm not even, I'm going to continue on about that later because Will Brooks is so near dead. Now he's very dead. Vital Tosis got that kill. The Brooks is in the middle of the war. Well, so Orn picking up another kill for himself. Um, Does Orn have Spellbook or no? I don't believe so. No, he's aftershock. You're sitting on a ward. But he's also knocking up Rob. And Monkey Joke goes again in the middle of the team. This is a AP5. I'm not sure how recommended this is. Black Warlord oh. is going to get stunned up. Nice pull of time to force Sky Fieri out in zone. The Monkey Joke goes eight chunks though. Will's out and Monkey will be alive for now, but the same could not be said of Digital Love. Uh, what? Yeah, that's Orn gonna take up a tower. They don't have the minions, so they're not gonna quite be able to get this tower yet, but they're just gonna peel off for Baron. Yeah, I think this is the correct one. Can we please do Monka S on this channel, Sebastian? So, like, it's the one of the best emotes in the entire Twitch chat. Which one's Monka S? We're like, the Pepe looks really concerned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh. There are so many TP wards. For Juice Me Daddy to go to, as they're taking this bear in extremely slow. As Fudgy, there is a TP coming in as Alley. They want to kill. They're going to force out. He loves from him. They're going to leave Guy Fieri to be the one to clean this up. Except Clumsy Chocobo actually comes out of the blobs, but it doesn't matter. Guy Fieri is unstoppable. Fudgy Ditters is just 1v2ing casually right now. I love a lot of damage. Just goes forward on the Rob. He's unstoppable. This is a missing shot on. Now the jungler is dead. Will Just Allie get the Baron. Just get the goddamn Baron on. You know, this has been a nine-minute Baron dance. 
that has resulted Nine, in well five minute more action. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five minute Baron dance that has resulted in low Spanish torpedoes just losing everybody. Basically. Well, they'll finally get Baron as the process. That was a really nice Gnarl. Um, that was a okay Gnarl, but like now they're going to get it. Yep. Yeah. And Alley is 6 1 and 9. Yeah. Something like to say about that. And Rob and Julio are up. Yeah, just keep on attacking. Question. And this is for Twitch chat. Uh, first, we're gonna comment on how Rob is very dead. Uh, so Riot did like a lounge style cast for CLGC9 on their second channel. They had after move videos come in with free, and they also watched Pumpy Chocobo died. No, they didn't. Uh, it's gonna be the game. Uh, for the one for Buckle the up, Oni Chan. Where's my mystery skin? You get two mystery skins actually. You get one for me as well. Oh yeah, this is okay. awesome. Well, yeah, this is awesome. okay. Um, yeah, they're just gonna win. Yeah, two zero for War. Jumping currently into second place. We do have one more series to the side standings, but as it is, we're putting themselves in the position to possibly move up the standings. I don't. I think they can get a buy actually, maybe. I don't, depends on tiebreaker. Well, it depends they're on how themself, They're putting themselves into a position to get a buy, possibly. We'll see. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to see if someone posted MVP. Nope. I'm going to post an MVP. Who is your MVP this game? Oh, it's, it's still Ali. It was my pre-prediction call. Uh, I just felt like... So... Yeah. No! Yeah, that's right, Sebastian. Get wrecked. So, like, if you just... Hold on, wait. Can I see stats for customs? <gasps> what? Finally, yeah, I know, right? Okay, so Ali did the third most on her team. Um, But it's just, when Ali has Morgana... I feel like it's a very comfortable pick for her. She plays the lane very well, especially against um, mid laners who may not control as much presence in the lane. Um, the only difference was that, um, you know, generally they have Eric on some type of tank with Caleb, but it was okay. They had, um, you know, Zorpox on the Taric and everything, and Fudgy being on a mobile AD carry. I just think um, that she just did so much for the team. The Romes, she, she's the one that made all that happen to where, in her own play, I'm not speculating on calls, uh, to where the early game that wasn't going well in top lane and bot lane and jungle, she was the only, like, shining light, so to say. don't even have an MVP for this game. This was just all of War playing just well. No one even really played spectacularly, in all honesty. It was just all of War playing well, except for a cane being boosted, but... No, I just can't wait to ask them about the, uh... Poor... Crap. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm unable to vote for Juice Me Daddy. Poor, please fix this. Yep. <laughs> Caleb keeps referring to me as poor. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I like it. It's funny. Yeah, it, Sean, I hope you appreciate the second option in the poll. The second option? Boosted cane. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, correction. Vile Sozu Cat actually played. Yeah! Yeah. I mean, that's exactly <laughs> what I said. Pull up the stats, it's fine. Don't I mean, I'll, yeah. I'll no. allow it, I'll allow it, shut up. What do you mean allow it? It happened. It's not like it's not like if you I'll don't allow that allow analysis it. to go through on my part too. Shut no, up. but no, it's not. You're not allowing anything. It happened. <laughs> okay. Shh, and I you stand just... corrected. Shut up. <laughs> I said I stand corrected. You're probably sitting right now, so I don't even know if I can trust you. I lie on bed corrected. <laughs> there we go. Your bot lane died to gangs. I was outstanding. Fudgy, 
You got hit by more bubbles in <laughs> this game. You, the amount of bubbles you got hit a by tilted at a bubble me off the face of the bath. fucking earth. Oh my god. Okay, we want to move up. Okay, yeah, sure, I guess. Look out. Why, <laughs> why, why is there an extra? Okay, he left. Hey, that's my second pair of skin. What? 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 I don't know. I'm so, so yeah, but like, confused. Ali was the only consistent thing that was happening besides Zorpok, but Zorpok was just having to like babysit duty for Fudgy. Like, oh my god, I can't let him die. Oh my god, please dodge the. Oh my god, oh my, I got a burn ult now. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, Caleb, can you can you approve? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's generally how that leg goes. Yep. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Caleb was like, hey, Eric, don't Love come you, top. Eric, don't come top. Hey, whoa, what the heck? Oh my Zorbox god. Zorbox babysitting service, yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, Eric, Sorry. don't come top. Okay, I'm here. Wait, I said don't come top. Don't worry, I got this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait a minute. What is this uh, not outstanding performer of a mid laner doing in this chat? Okay, yeah. Uh, I think I'm the captain either way. <laughs> Quality service at a, at a reasonable price. Wait, what? Did Fudgy come in here and say something? Because I didn't hear him. Oh, no. yeah, he, I think he was BMing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Even even Discord couldn't and like didn't allow him to BM. Take care <laughs> of the precious Joy ADC. Uh, take care of the ad carry, man. I gotta take care of the ad carry. The ad carry. Yeah. I solo carry these boosted apes every single time. Yeah, yes. I don't know. I don't know if solo carrying boosted apes would be Definitely, is that you? We are a rhino, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Not yeah. exactly. not boosted gorilla monkeys. He's no, on the no. He's on the wrong team. Yeah, I don't I don't know what he's thinking, dude. Yeah, okay. So I think this is it. I guess low Spanish torpedoes will not be joining us. I guess not. I mean, you, okay. did you ask them? No, I just assumed that people would always come if they have a... Uh, they're playing an ARAM, so... So no, okay. <laughs> um, congratulations on the 2-0. You have at least secured yourself the top four finish. They already did. Well, congratulations. The same thing has been Congratulations on further securing the top four finish, I guess. Yeah. Uh, or increasing your chances of getting a buy. Um, yeah, or potentially third. Yeah, yeah, in increasing your chances of it, in it going higher in the standings. My first question, because I wasn't here for game one, who called for the leash on Raptors? <laughs> um, I'm lost. What? What do you know? Okay, so in game two, you leashed Eric at Raptors. Who called for that leash? He asked for it. <laughs> He asked. He asked me to W it specifically. <laughs> Caleb's laughing. Oh my god. He did. Yeah. He legitimately did. Uh, he. I mean, I was pretty sure he would. I just assumed he'd be able to hit it last hit them all because it's not like it does that much damage at level one. But. Um, well, just, okay. And I know you don't jungle much, but Eric should know better. Because uh, we actually had a little bet and I won it, so thankfully he did start Raptors because John, uh, Vandal was saying that there was no way he was going to start Raptors because he says he hates starting Raptors. Um, but when he started Raptors, it was very good because he had Talisman. And you can clear the thing in, by yourself. Um, I, think, I think he just wanted the damage. Uh, he, he just forgot to kite off the little Raptors off of my pool when they get, start to get low. Well, I, my only thing is I don't think that you need to leash that. That's just a, a side thing because I know you can clear that very quickly. Also, because he didn't, like, the tick damage is very different, you know, and everything, trying to, you know, uh, figure yeah, out yeah. that um, it put him behind early, which made him have to burn Smite on red buff, and he didn't have everything, so it was unfortunate. Um but overall, I was really impressed by your play in the second game. Although when I saw you pick Morgana, I was like, I said pre-game, I was like, Allie's going to be MVP, and then it's going to be it. Uh, yeah, the, 
the pick band from then was rather confusing that game. Um, picking the Vigar blind when the Morgana is still up is a pretty big uh, no-no from my perspective. Eric, what time did you get level 3? Type it in chat while I'm talking to Allie and Rich's doing stuff with a mystery. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm going to see it before I even open my account. Hell, yeah. Okay. Um, that I just I thought that their comp wasn't bad, though. I thought it was one of the better comps that they've put together. Uh, I think if Julio doesn't kidnap the wrong way a couple of times, like especially in that bot lane fight that turned to y'all's favor. Um, uh, the, I think that I, I'm not saying their comp was bad. I'm saying that specific matchups were not great. Um, oh. I would consider Morgana like a direct Figar counter. Oh yeah, obviously. And when you're in such a difficult laning phase, not I mean, uh, I mean for me, of course, because it is the God Pedo, but um, for sure. Show your kind of card. Sorry, sorry, Zorpox. It's a rough matchup, yeah. Yeah. That you don't want to pick, like, such a rough lane into. <laughs> Are there, is there anything that you'd like to, either one of you would like to address in either game one or game two? Because I know that Blackstrand, you're here, and we'll give you, or excuse me, Juice Me Mommy. Uh, uh wrong. Daddy? Daddy? There you go. I forget, because you you're the mom, whatever. Yes. The Juice Me There thing. you go. <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, juice me, juice me, daddy. Is that you? Um, I saw parts of it because I was back and forth, but you were just railing on people with AF trucks. Uh, yeah, I'd say I was. I think we were all a little confused on the champions they decided to ban because I think game one we played the like like the classic war comp yeah like, i saw i saw corky malachi and aatrox and i was like hmm yeah wrong in pick ban <laughs> yeah we were all a little confused and the second game we we still you know we got the orn the morgana uh uh bot lane got not wait no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tarek was Tarek, from Tarek, Tarek. Yeah, Tarek. The it was the Myokai flex that really got him this time because we just we decided to flex it into the jungle, but they wound up banning two more junglers on the second half. Which then we were just like, well, we'll just leave Myokai in the jungle and pick Aatrox and Corky question mark. Um, but yeah, it was kind of an odd draft from them for sure. Yeah. I'll say this, Eric, but that that uh, that strategy did work. One game versus y'all. Then bug check your account. You're welcome, and I got a Night Raven Fiora. Thank you, Stream, for allowing me to see it before I open my account. Thank you, Rich, for being honest and going through with your thing. Um, I've been oh, given no. two mystery skins through this I, league if i make a bet i'm not gonna yeah no i i won two mystery skins based off of y'all's performance today ali so thank y'all very much oh anytime yeah anytime. Uh, uh um i mean i God was y'all never one fan on the cast or on the, on the analyst desk like for the majority of the season so wait so what did you bet about uh, uh, well, whether uh, eric would start raptors game too yeah so that was that was the bet <laughs> for rich and then i bet with Sebastian, that he said that uh, Spanish torpedoes would uh, would have taken a game off of y'all, and then the early game, I was like, "What am I watching? No, what is going on?" And then, uh, and then, just Allie was like, foot down, everyone fucking group, let's go, <clears throat> and it was done. And it was, and I was like, "Yeah, that's, that's exactly <laughs> I, I, how I mean, Allie's shot calling is like." Uh, to be fair, we never felt behind in that second game. Oh, you like, did have a gold. They did have a gold I think, lead at some point. I mean, point. it was yeah. minor. Like, I mean, it, yeah. you're forgetting that there was an 80 CS deficit in the mid lane at 20 minutes and a 40 CS deficit in the top lane at 20 minutes. Well, so we, okay, after we looked behind, but we really weren't. 
No, but at 20 minutes, though, that wasn't... You weren't behind at that point. It oh, was yeah, yeah. It was really part yeah. of the game. Like, Eric going top lane. Also, you canceled your TP. Was that because you thought Vigar was going to stun you, or y'all called it off? Uh, there were two... Yeah, I thought Vigar could stun me, and I thought that I was just using the TP to get Caleb out um, to make them just run away. Uh, but Caleb thought that I was actually going to TP in, and I did not. <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to make Caleb live. It didn't. Yeah. It was an unfortunate miscommunication. Yeah, and then I guess there was an unfortunate miscommunication between Eric and the top lane where he just gets killed after fighting the Nar. Although I tried to validate it by him saying that probably he just wanted to get Rost ASAP because he finally got it around 19 minutes uh, <laughs> because of the kill he got. Yeah, I thought Caleb was closer. That's fine. Um, but still, I think you hit like 8% of your W's that game, by the way, Eric. So let's work on that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, uh, dude. Uh, yeah, we, we, were, we were memeing like the whole time. But oh my God, so dude. now that both of these games are over and you're looking towards playoffs, of the teams that you could potentially play in playoffs, uh, would you, one, would you rather have the bye or would you rather play? the next week? I'd, I'd always rather have the buy um, in this format specifically. Uh, actually, I think any format you'd always rather have the buy. Yeah, if there's but, a buy available. Yeah. yeah. Um, but as far as like teams that we're going to be watching out for, I think that... I'll, we, here, let, me, let me rephrase the question a bit. If you don't get the buy, you can either face Rip or Gerg Five. Which team are you maybe like more worried about? Which one would you rather face uh, in that realm? Well, two members of Rip being in here, I no, 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 uh, be honest, I, please. I mean, definitely yeah, not. I, I'm more afraid of um, Gerg yeah. Five mostly yeah. because of the matchup specifically and like the way that it lines up for our team. Yeah, I think exactly. that our team lines up really well against Rip, and I actually really hope that we face you guys. Yeah, and so Which in also, contrary I motion, hope I, I hope I don't face why you guys. <laughs> we hope who two O's tonight, and somehow uh, then y'all get third seed, so y'all can play G five, and we play HVG. Well, one way or another, <laughs> I'd ra I'd rather face Poo than War, and I'd rather face HVG than Poo. Let's go with that. Also no. I want, also, <laughs> no. I want a rematch of the first. I want a rematch of the first week. You're you're not going top lane, and that because let, let me. Go, oh no, I'm not going top lane. I want a rematch. I just want a rematch of the first week. Yeah, I, HVG could also two zero. Exactly. And that's I'd, okay. I'd rather that happen than the one one split and there be a. What do you mean these casters more. aren't biased at all? I didn't say I wasn't unbiased or anything. No, we never just... said we were unbiased. We're just yeah. talking about what we want for pl our playoffs. We're, we're, we're pa yeah, we're past this point, man. Like, I'm sorry that Captain Flowers and you know freaking uh, Freak don't say like, oh, I really want to like. No, I'm gonna tell you straight up. I don't want to on the team, because... fam. Like we, we're cap, agreeing with this Ali's is the point. post game lobby, dude. This is post game matches more <laughs> matches up well with Rip. So Ali wants us, and we don't want Ali. <laughs> Ali, we love yeah. you, but we don't want to play you. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. I mean, like I asked, you know, this, since we this are, really, this really is the post game lobby. Well, what do you what do you want me to say, Eric? Who do you want to play? Oh, you, and then Ali responds with, "We really want to play." Uh, R.I.P. Hmm, I wonder what they think about that. Who do 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 do? Like, <laughs> that's, not, that's not, you know, what, <laughs> that's not what's gonna happen here. We got both captains in here. I'm sorry. That's just, it's it's still 5 off of LCS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder what Rip thinks about that. Find out next week. Uh, On oh, Dragon Ball Z. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Uh, what? No, that's the ending <laughs> credits. Hello? Nobody? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm old. Uh, nah, dude, I've watched Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball. Uh, I don't remember that being... Dragon Ball Super okay. is going to be ending stupid, but all the shows are really slow right now. I, mean, uh, I haven't watched that one. Oh, it's really good. It's better than GT. Anyone who says otherwise can fight me. But mm. don't at me. Um, so, yeah, I think overall, really good game. 
by both y'all. Rich, do you have anything to ask them? No, I never have questions on these. You know me. <laughs> so how yeah. do time out, Budgie? How is you can talk to me later, but how does he's not boring? He's super strong. Talk to me later. Um, anything you'd like to say, Caleb or um, Ali, to any of Twitch chat, your fans, your adoring people, the guys on the caster desk that you may play? Hmm. I'm sorry that I didn't give you Malzahar either game, Will. I why, apologize. Why does Caleb feed first blood all the time? I don't know. Why does Caleb solo kill someone who has two kills up on them? Fuck you, Sean. The real question oh. is, what, what was that fourth ban? Like, jeez, report this, Captain. What? Wait, yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, what is your ban? What would the uh, ban have been? Oh, uh, I don't know, dude. I, I, <laughs> I was literally do. I I thought that the, it was their ban. I wasn't sure. I, I wasn't really paying attention. But it was bad. <laughs> that yeah, that but that's funny because you're like, oh, what would it be? Oh, oh no, man, we ain't got nothing. Uh, I just, I forgot to ban, and I was just like, I'll just not have the ban. I deserve it. <laughs> okay. I didn't type it in. I didn't type it in at all, and I was like, I deserve to not have this ban. That's what I, <laughs> the way that I leave. Christ, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, love it. I didn't okay, type anything. That's, that's our first legit missed ban of the split. We've had... We had of, us picking cards last we've, night. We've had uh, straight lacks of bans. At TST versus SNM, we've had penalized bans. Us SNM, um, BGM had a pe ban penalty at G5 some point. In December, some summer on our. We've never had a straight up missed ban. Uh, I think the thirty seconds thing is really stupid, but that's just my personal. I think like, that yeah, I think having only twenty five seconds to ban in the uh, client though, the little like the pro draft site, that makes that so tough. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think pro draft is actually bad, but just my personal it's opinion. Only yeah. in terms of like I time. I put you two off, off there. there. That's a discussion. We. I, I promise you guys will revisit this topic before the next one starts. But but yeah, we yeah, have we another have match another going match in twenty in minutes. 20 minutes. Uh, uh, we've got we've Echo got in my ear in my versus, ear versus uh, Pro uh, versus uh, HVG. <laughs> Thanks, Mendong. Uh, yeah, Pooh versus H3G. Final match of the season, deciding some playoff seeding. Two teams that are tied, that are tied with, each with each other. Let's go. Let's go. That's at 11.30 in 20 minutes. I'm casting, I believe, with Bison and Jimmy. So, let's so, go. Let's we'll see you guys. Guys. Yeah.